Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Um, this is Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. This is Enrique. I'm Enrique. This is Easy Things to Draw. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. Somebody requested this, so I'm going to do uh, a little video on it. It is um, how to draw in charcoal, like how to use charcoal if you've never used it before. Um, I am going to be, I'm going to tell you, first of all, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this light charcoal. By the way, I hate vine charcoal. If you know what vine charcoal is, that's that, um, I think it comes in packets, but it's, you know, vine charcoal only comes with the charcoal. There's no wood. It's just charcoal and it's super soft. And when you use it, that thing will blow right off the paper. You can just go and just blow that thing right off the paper. It's, uh, I hate it, but you know, it's just another tool. I don't like it, but whatever. I prefer charcoal pencils, you know, so I don't get my hands as dirty as they're going to get, but still they get dirty. I like a charcoal pencil. Um, if you're, if you're drawing on a bigger surface, I have a different way to use charcoal. But I'm going to be going over charcoal like on a smaller, kind of a smaller surface. Um, you know, this is like 11 by 17. I, I was used to drawing in charcoal and, um, you know, uh, in school, like with those giant boards, you know, like the 18 by 24, that kind of thing. And for that, that's, there's a whole different kind of way I use the pencil. I sharpen it differently. But um, so anywho. Uh, I'm going to be using this charcoal. It's called Derwent Charcoal Light. Uh, it's the first one I found, honestly. It came in a giant packet of charcoals. There's really no hardness on it, though, which is weird. It just says light. There's no number. And I'm going to be using this kneaded eraser. Kneaded erasers are squishy things. I, as you can tell, it is... I just need a tiny bit of it. I have more over here in case I need it. Um... And I'm also going to be using my finger to move things around. So, anyways, I'm just going to go over, uh, in terms of how to use a charcoal, uh, I'm going to be drawing an eye, you know, so kind of, just the most basic thing, right, to kind of really get you, you know, it's really more about the, going over how to use this tool. Charcoal, no matter what kind, goes everywhere, you know, it gets messy. Some people hate it. It's actually pretty hard to work with, I think, in general. It's what I learned to draw on, actually. This is the very first thing I ever really learned to draw with, was charcoal. That's all we ever used at my school. It's very preferable because it's fast. It's very fast um, because, you know, for life drawing, things like that, usually you're timed. The reason it's so fast, you can use a large side of it. And, and um, in school, we would sharpen it all the way down to, to have the charcoal exposed, like, all the way down here. We really sharpen it back for a larger surface, but I don't think I need to do that on this smaller surface. Plus, I'm not really using the right paper, but it doesn't matter, in my opinion. I mean, right now it doesn't matter. I'm not picky. Usually we use newsprint, soft newsprint, you know. This one I'm just using the same computer paper I always use with you guys, you know. Let me just, just get the outline for an eye. This isn't a how to draw an eye video, so I'm just gonna put that in there. It's gonna be more about, I guess, how to shade, I suppose, with this tool or how to use it. Actually, I think that pupil is huge. Let me get this thing. Try to erase it. There's, yeah, this thing really eats up the erasers pretty quick, I noticed. Charcoal, in general. Okay. Yeah, let's just say generic guy, blah, blah, blah. So, when I'm, well, I'll just get into it, and then I'll, I'll talk as I'm, what I'm, you know, I'll talk about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Putting a highlight there. I'm going into the darkest darks first. Uh, just, I don't know why I'm doing that. Usually I do that last, but I'm going to the darkest darks first. Because I feel I want to get it out of the way, honestly. And then usually the eyelid casts a shadow. So I throw kind of a darker line over here, touching, touching the the pupil, touching the eye, uh, the pupil, yeah, the iris. If enough, if nothing touches a pupil, it's gonna look scared. I learned that the hard way. 
Maybe I'll make it a female eye, actually. That'll, that'll... I mean, guys still have eyelashes, but... You know, you really accentuate them on a woman. I heard the, the average guy has longer eyelashes than the, av the average girl. I mean, at least naturally. Is that true? Like, somebody tell me if that's true. Somebody Google that. I don't, I don't want to Google that right now. <laughs> I mean, I would believe it. My eyelashes are pretty big, actually. Anywho. Oh, yeah, you can also blow away. See this dust? Little tiny specks. I don't think you can see it, but in real life, you can really see it. So what I do is I go... And I have to be really careful because you could easily spit on your paper. And if you spit on your paper, you'll form this... And it's fun, it's fun, it sounds funny, but it sucks, you know? Because if you get, like, a water droplet on your paper try to shade over that, it's going to look nasty and it just won't come back, you know. It will not be the same. Um, whoever knows what I'm talking about, let me know. And then I'm going to throw some lighter value here for the eye itself. So I need that excess charcoal and I'm going to use my fingers the first thing I'm going to use my finger to kind of just rub it across normally I don't like this I mean I will use it with charcoal I don't normally use it with pencil because I feel like with pencil you have to you have to try harder to smear it and when you try harder you push your hand harder into the paper and when you push your hand harder into the paper you get more of your oil from your hand in there and it causes it starts to build up but um, with charcoal, I like doing it because charcoal is so easy to move around. I don't think I don't think it attracts as much of your oil as it could. It definitely does. Don't get me wrong, but not as much as it could. So now I'm going to go into the controversial part. I'm going to go into the half tone. Half tone is basically uh, its value, right? Its value, but value that's in the light. You know what I mean? It's value that's actually in the light to kind of just show off the form. You're trying to show off the surfaces of this thing, right? You can't show off the surface if it's totally white. So I'm doing that. I'm taking some of the charcoal from the side over here. I'm just kind of throwing a layer over the over almost everything that's eye, you know? reason I'm doing that, I'm kind of taking some away from there, I can always throw some more dark back in there. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to reveal some of the form. The only way I'm going to reveal, and I want to separate it from the paper itself, you know. The paper itself is whatevs. Also, if you really want, you can always keep some napkins around, like to clean your hand. Because see, there's a thumbprint right there. And that's just going to happen, you know. Also, the side of your hand also gets a lot, so be careful. I can try to erase it. Yeah, that comes out pretty well. But I don't know why. I'll erase it at the end, because honestly, it's going to be a mess during. All right. Let's get back into the eye. What I want to do is I want to pull, like, a shine over. Because the eye is going to glisten, right? The eye is a little, uh, it's like wet. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to glisten a little bit. One second. Ba -bum. It's going to glisten, so I have to kind of like be ready. I'm pulling stuff out with my eraser at some point. I'm gonna cover that up. I don't. I want to move that. The only way to show something is really white is if something else that's really dark next to it. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a contrast. Actually, I'll save that for in a little bit here. I'll show you guys in a second here. It's just a little bit harder. I need. I think I need to go darker with certain things for me to see it. I remember some of my instructors would also lie down a piece of paper, like rip out a chunk of paper or something. Rip out a chunk of paper and then uh, put their so they can put their hand on it. That's that's pretty useful, you know. I'll do that in a little bit here if it starts getting really crazy. I might have to. I'm trying to lie my hand down though outside. 
outside of it, you know, I'm laying down. You're going to notice it's going to feel, I think people consider this the natural uh, stepping stone into painting because it feels kind of like painting, but you're drawing because you're lying, you're layering over and over again. You're going to find that you have to kind of redraw stuff over and over again because you're moving it around. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm grabbing my eraser and I'm trying to flick out certain little uh, details in the iris, you know, because it kind of has that hairy look. So I'm adding more value over here. Sometimes I'll throw in like a couple of lines, like scratch, 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 a little bit, not like really hard though. And just for the purpose of rubbing it out with my finger here, I'm trying to make this a little bit darker and this a little bit darker so that it'll look like a rounded form. You know what I mean? I'm slowly trying to finesse certain things out of this. Let me time lapse a little bit more and then I'm going to talk a little bit more. So what I'm doing right now is I'm adding like smaller details in the eyelashes and things like that. But also, at the same time, uh, I thought this was a little too hard. The shape was too hard, so I rubbed it out with my uh, finger there. And uh, just kind of what I do, it's just like right now, it's a series of me just kind of rubbing with my finger, kind of smoothing things out. 
and then you know slowly like trying to refine things around here without getting too messy you know what I mean um, I'm just continuously doing that another thing is I'm whenever I put down a line like I put it on two or three lines I put them down kind of like like I'll do it over here like that and I'm treating it kind of like cross hatching so if I'm putting on the eye right there I'm following the I'm conforming to the shape of the eye as I put them down and then I rub it out you know do that and rub it do that over here rub it again kind of doing that up here I put a dark right here to accent the eye sometimes it anchors it I usually do that if there's a face there so I just did it right now this can be very therapeutic actually this is probably one of the few drawing things I think I, I don't feel a lot of therapy when I uh, when I drew line art even though I love drawing line art I don't feel as therapeutic doing it as I do with this you know just kind of finessing stuff I feel way more therapeutic doing it it's kind of like pushing stuff around pushing shapes around you know or when you're painting you know things like that I'm trying to see where these connect over here I'm just trying to connect them underneath as much as I can but also kind of rubbing it out rubbing through it I mean I'm gonna continue working on it maybe one last time and then I'm gonna close it off and then talk to you uh, one last thing about this I'm gonna be working mostly in this area as well like down here the lower eyelid I just feel like it's a little too rough right now I wanna fix the lower portion uh, more than anything alright I'm gonna go back to drawing All right, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it at this point right now. You could actually keep going on it more and more and more. I'd have to like sharpen my pencil a little bit more, but um, I'd have to, I don't know, I don't really wanna, because I'd have to stick it in the sharpener and the sharpener would break this thing. Uh, it always breaks it. Usually I gotta sharpen it with like a razor blade. Uh, but yeah, you could kinda keep finessing it like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. You can finesse it like crazy, you know. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, again, one the, um, like one last thought. When you're using uh, the kneaded eraser, and I'd only use a kneaded eraser, honestly, because you can change the shape of it so much. I can make it like completely flat, or I can make it like a point if I want, you know what I mean? I can make it like a point to really get into these small areas. Uh, it's kind of like using... This is what I mean by it's kind of bridges the gap between painting and this. This is like black paint and this is like white paint. I can kind of pull that out and treat that like white paint. It's very similar. I think that's why people see that as the bridge. Um, anyways, guys, if you have any questions or you want any other tools, I would definitely try out charcoal. It's a really awesome tool.